So anytime somebody come to Philly and they want to come and link with me, you going to have a problem with them? Is what you telling me, me? Whoever represents the Dream Chasers is whoever come to Philly and they come to me and they come work inside my studio. Is me going to have a problem with them? Let's get this understood now so I don't even invite nobody to come to my studio. Because I don't want to make Meek upset. So if you come to if you come to my studio and you from out of town, then you and you is declaring war with Meek Mill and the Dream Chasers. Oh man, what's going on? It's looking like the streets of Philadelphia is turning their back on Brother Rameek. So as y'all seen in that clip, man, we got Dean responding to Meek Mill crashing out on Twitter yesterday after images and videos circle the internet. Of Dean hanging out with Wale. Meek felt like it was some type of underlining, cutthroat, backdoor, them against him situation. And Dean is just saying, man, we rock with Wale. We don't got no smoke with Wale. We saw him in the spot and we just showed him love. Like, nobody's against you, Meek. Chill out. Dean is also saying that Meek Mill is abusing drugs, man. He said this is his childhood friend. He knows Meek Mill. And this is not him. He's saying this is the drugs talking, man. So hopefully Meek Mill could get some type of help, some type of treatment. It's Ramadan, homie. You, you mean to tell me it's like a couple of days left of the holy month and you out here tweaking with them perks? But that's not the only Philadelphia issue Meek Mill seems to have, man. We got Mike Knox, who was just showing love to Meek Mill. He's actually in Meek Mill's loyalty club group on Instagram. He was literally just posting days ago. He took to Instagram today and he said, at Meek Mill. We always been cool and I always showed you nothing but love and support. But today that stops. What you said on that phone to me yesterday, you're going to have to say that to my face. Don't stand behind your niggas and talk crazy because I don't need niggas to stand behind me to stand on anything I say. Me and you can meet up anywhere, cut block and figure this out today. I am in Philly all day. All I ever did was talk good about you on interviews and saluted you. I even stood up for you while everybody was talking crazy. I even told 50 you was my man. And I even back up off the nigga gunplay when you called me and asked me to. I never asked you for a dime or a favor. I don't know what's up with you, but we got to figure this out. And you know I'm not no bitch. I'm moving around in Philly all day. Drop the location. Meek Mill even commented and said, And talk face to face. I'm in Philly now. I called you 10 times. Let's meet today. Oh, man. Yo, it's looking like these brothers ready to crash out, man. Ego and likes and comments. That's all this the issues about, man. Nobody got hurt physically. Ain't nobody. Well, Meek girl probably got popped because Quilly said Meek baby mama got eight names tatted on her. So we got to kind of factor that in into maybe why Meek is wilding out here. People telling all his dirty secrets. Everybody know his BM might be a thought. Allegedly, I don't know, according to Quilly. But ain't nobody got hurt, man. Meek acting like these Dean and them try to kidnap Poppy and uh, they done blicked at his mama house and all these industry dudes is still cool with them and acting like I'm supposed to let it rock. Meek, ain't nothing happened. Y'all just fell out. Y'all not cool no more. And that's it. It's no beef. It's no Unless something happened that we don't know about. Did Dean pull up and beat you up? Or like what happened, bro? Like it's something going on. That we don't know about. Dean is claiming, yo, it's the drugs, homie. Dude over there popping pills, going crazy and out his mind. This is not Meek. Y'all need to check on him. Y'all need to get him some help. And I kind of agree with that theory. Meek could be off them drugs, just tweaking, feeling like the whole world is against him, paranoid, high out his mind. And if that's the case, he needs help. You guys need to stop going at him on Instagram and Twitter, antagonizing him. If y'all really know him personally and know that he need help. Come on, man. Y'all kicking the man while he's down. But what y'all think about this? How y'all feel about this? Dean responds to Meek Mill and Mike Knox popped out of nowhere calling Meek out, saying he trying to link up. Apparently, they had some type of conversation over the phone and Meek probably was off them drugs, allegedly. I don't know. But apparently, Meek said something crazy over the phone and Mike Knox trying to get at him, man. But this is crazy. If he says something to you over the phone, I'm guessing you have his number. Why are you on Instagram making a whole spectrum about this, man? Like, bro, clearly ain't nothing about to happen after you just did that. Now y'all definitely have to link up and just talk it out or just keep away from each other. Because y'all done put the spotlight on the whole situation. Ah, oh, man, I don't understand these guys, man. Not for one bit do I believe that they're ready to crash out. 
it's so many holes in in the play that just makes it so like yeah it's it's obvious y'all y'all niggas is just cloud chasing bro like if you had an issue with that man you got his number y'all know each other I'm sure y'all frequent the same spots pop up on him you know where he be at you could get next to him why you on Instagram tagging him and typing this whole paragraph it seems like clout man when last we heard anything about a Mike Knox can anybody even name five Mike Knox tracks like come on bro he probably seeing yo Meek Mill been trending. Him and Meek probably did have a little exchange of words over the phone, and he just looking at it like an opportunity to capitalize. Yeah, Meek ain't really my man like that, man. Never got nothing from Meek. I just be around him, and now everybody clout chasing and, and going up over him. Shit, my turn now. That's what I gathered from it. What y'all think? How y'all feel about this? Is always watching TV. Y'all know the vibes. Like, share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell so you stay notified whenever we drop. Follow us on all socials at Always Watching TV. We on Twitter, Trends, Facebook, TikTok, all that. Tap in with us, man. You know the vibes. And until next time, I'm out of here.